hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in this video we will uh, in previous video we have already talked about the riveted joints what are the riveted joints and uh, many definitions regarding it in this video we will talk about the type of riveted joints and uh, some terms associated with riveted joints so let's see first of all we will see what are the type of riveted joints okay so in any joint like in welding if you see welding or riveting or screw nut bolt joint these are the major joints used welding this is riveting and third one is nut bolt or screw joint okay so all in all these three type of joints we have butt joint and lap, lap joint so what is lap joint suppose these are the two plates these are the two plates we have to do we have to connect these two so in lap joint we have to make plates overlap so one plate we will keep like this and second plate we will keep overlapping above this okay so this portion is overlapping so this portion is overlapping so we will fit rivets in this joint uh, this place if this is welding then we will do welding here and here and if it is nut bolt then we will fit nut, bol nut bolts at this portion like rivets okay so this is called lap joint second one is butt joint so if these two were the plates then in butt joint we will keep these plates like this okay we will keep these plates in contact without overlapping and if this is welding then we will fill this portion with material filler material if this is a uh, rivet joint then we will keep another plate like this and we will make rivet joints here similarly in welded uh, nut bolt joint okay like you can see in this figure and uh, we can also use two plates like here okay so this is lap joint this is butt joint so i hope you understood up to here okay now after this what are the lap joints are also of many types so what are the type of lap joints so we will see lap joint can be lap joints first one is single riveted lap joint second one is double riveted lap joint third one is triple and similarly you can go on okay so what is single riveted lap joint so in this case these two plates two plates are kept overlapping then we make a hole or many holes as many as joints are required and we put rivet in this okay if you so cross section then it will look like this okay this is single riveted lap joint and this is double riveted lap joint if you see cross section okay two rivets if you see in this uh, this figure then double rivet, uh, double riveted lap joint will look like this okay two rows of rivets are used so this is double riveted lap joint similarly in triple riveted lap joint three rows will be used so uh, and that uh, in that way you can go on and now in case of butt joint what are the type of butt joint let's erase this so that we can write here butt joints are also of many types so in butt joint we can use see single cover plate like if these two are the plates we have to do butt joint then we can keep one plate here and we can make holes here so it will become single plate okay butt joint with single cover plate if we keep another plate which is this is up upside we keep these two plates and 
above that we used another plate if we use another plate below this then it will look like this these two plates these two plates had to be well uh, connected then when we kept one plate here below this and one plate here so we have used two plates okay so this is called bird joint with double cover plate okay so now this is based on the cover plate now on based on the number of riv uh, rivets we call it single riveted joint single riveted bird joint or double riveted bird joint or triple riveted bird joint so this in single riveted bird joints we use one rivet joint each side okay so this can be called single riveted bird joint okay with two strap plates because one rivet joint is used one rivet is used on both side of the plates okay so this is single riveted bird, jo uh, bird joints and similarly in double riveted bird joint we will use two each side like these two plates had to be connected then we will use suppose the two strap plates then one rivet and then two rivet so this will become double riveted bird joint with double strap two strap plates okay similarly there are other type of joints which is called chain riveting and zigzag riveting and diamond riveted joints so what are these let's look at this so if this is one plate we are going to do overlap lap joint okay let me draw it again so this is one plate there is another plate okay these two plates have to be joined using our lap joint or our lap joint so in lap joint we will use suppose we are using double riveting so if we are making rivet joints parallel to each other in one line see these two are in one line these three are the center are in the same line then this type of joint is called chain riveted joint okay now we can make it in another way suppose this is one plate this is another plate and we are using rivet here one second one is here third one is here fourth one is here fifth one is here sixth one is here although these three are in the same line these three are in the same line but these two are in different line okay their center are not in the same line so this is called zigzag zigzag joint okay because it is going their center if you connect their center it is going like zigzag okay so this is called zigzag riveted joint okay similarly last one is diamond riveted joint so what is diamond riveted joint so suppose these two are these two plates are to be well uh, connected with rivet joints we are making bird joint we keep these two plates face to face then we are using a strap joint strap plates okay like this we are using strap plate so near the joint we use maximum number of rivets see we use four here this is four here then we go three three then two joints two rivets and two rivets then one rivet so if you see it it looks like a diamond okay so it is called a diamond riveted joint okay so i hope you understand up to here now we can see some terms related to rivet joints see if you see this diagram if you see this diagram then there are many words written okay so what are the meaning of this terms so first one is pitch so what is pitch of this riveted joint 
so pitch is distance center to center distance let's change the color pitch is distance between the two center of two rivets in the same line okay in the same row so this is the single row so distance between the two rivets is called the pitch it can be different in different rows maybe in this row the rivets vary at different different distances okay so pitch will change there so here pitch is distance between two rivets okay in the same row center to center second one is gauge line so this is gauge line so what is the gauge line the gauge line is line of rivets this see this is the line of rivets if you match their center connect their center this is line of rivets so gauge line is this line if this is parallel to direction of stress so here we assume that force is applied here and here so force is applied here and here and this is parallel to direction of stress so this is called gauge line which is connecting the rivets okay now another thing is gauge distance so you can say by yourself gauge distance is distance between two consecutive rows okay you have two or two consecutive gauge lines here one gauge line here second gauge line and distance between two is called gauge distance now what is the back pitch back pitch is the distance between two consecutive rows okay two conductive uh, con conjunctive rows are uh, center is called back pitch this is one line this is second line and these two are conjunctive so distance between these two are called back pitch now another term is nominal diameter so if this is a rivet if this is a rivet before fitting this rivet this rivet is fit, fitted in this plate so before fitting this rivet what is the diameter of this rivet is called the nominal diameter then what is the gross diameter the gross diameter so if this is a plate okay and hole is made in this for rivet to be inserted then this hole is little bigger than this diameter of the rivet normally 1.5 mm to 2 mm larger than this rivet uh, diameter of this rivet so this diameter of this hole in the plate is called the gross diameter now next one is edge distance so what is the edge distance or edge pitch this uh, distance between distance between first row of rivets this is first line of rivets and this is the edge of the plate so distance between these two are called edge distance it is also called as the marginal pitch okay now another thing which is remaining in the diagram is repeating section so what is the repeating section the pattern which repeats itself again and again so this is very small section of the rivet Uh, rivet plates suppose we are making a boiler or a ship then there will be so many of rivets okay so this per pattern is repeating itself again and again if in that plate then this is called repeating section okay so i hope you understood this definition another thing i am uh, trying to add that when when do we choose lap joint and when do we choose uh, bar joint say in case of lap joint if we apply stress here or force here and here tensile force along the plates then you can see that these two forces are not in the same line okay there is some distance so which due to which there will be a couple okay there will be movement or couple generated this will cause plates to bend okay these plates will bend like this okay so lap joint is used only when there is not very big force to be transmitted or there is very small amount of stress developed in the joint 
at that time lab joint can be used but if the force is very big or has great magnitude then we can use the bud joint see in case of bud joint the center line is same for both the both the direction or both the stresses okay so i hope you understood these things uh, if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section and if you like this video then please share and subscribe to our channel and if you want to know more about the rivet joints and solve some numerical question then please go through our playlist and watch all the videos from video number one okay so thank you for watching this video